Good afternoon everyone. Today I am coming with a new video. It is very interesting. What is phobia? We all know the term phobia. What is phobia? Phobia is a type of fear. It has many types which I will discuss. If anyone want to make any presentation about phobia, that time my video will be very helpful to them to make the presentation. So today in my video I will discuss what is phobia definition then types and causes risk factor and lastly I will discuss the treatment of phobia so let's begin my about my topic what is phobia a phobia is an irrational and excessive fear of an object or situation living creature phobia are diagnosable mental disorders. The person will experience intense distress when faced with the source of their phobia. This can prevent them from functioning normal and sometimes lead to panic attack. Phobia are more serious than simple fear sensations and are not limited to fear of specific triggers. Despite individuals being aware that their phobia is irrational, they cannot control the fear reaction. The term phobia is often used to refer to a fear of one particular trigger. The fear can be a certain place, situation or object. Unlike general anxiety disorder, a phobia is usually connected to something specific. The impact of a phobia can range from any annoying to severely disabling. People with phobias often realize their fear is irrational, but they are unable to do anything about it. Such fear can interfere with work, school, and personal relationship. Now, my point move into types. How many types of phobias? Types. When I am going to discuss about types of phobias, there are many types. So I discussed in a stepwise manner, help you to understand very quickly. So let's start. How many types of phobias? That is social phobias or social anxiety. What is social phobias? Social phobias involve a fear of social situations. Such phobias include an extreme and pervasive fear of social situations. In some cases, this fear may center on a very particular type of social situation such as public speaking. What is agoraphobia? What is agoraphobia? That involves a fear of being trapped in an inescapable place or situations. It is commonly misunderstood as a fear of open space but could also apply to being confined in a small place, small space, such as an elevator or being on public transport. People with agoraphobia have an increased risk of a panic disorder. Now, now third point. Third point what is specific phobias. Specific phobias that is involves the fear of a particular object such as snakes or butterfly or moths. Such phobias typically fall into one of four different categories that is situational, that is animals, medical or environment. A few examples of common fear objects including spiders, dogs, needles, natural disasters, heights and flying. There are also another types or we may say there are also different types of phobias that is natural environment. What is natural environment? Fear of lightning, water, a storm or hurricanes. That is called natural environment. Now we will discuss about the social phobia then I am going to discuss what is agoraphobia. I already discussed what is specific phobia. And now I am specific phobia. 
the major types of specific phobia. How many types of specific phobias? This is also many types. How many types of specific phobias? That is the natural environment, fear of lightning, water, storm, hurricanes, animals, fear of snakes, rodents, cats, or birds, medical, fear of seeking, seeing blood, or visiting a doctor, a situational, fear of bridges, leaving home, or driving. Specific phobia are known as simple social anxiety and agoraphobia are known as complex phobias. What is agoraphobia? Agoraphobia is fear of flying that is called agoraphobia. What is arachnophobia? that is fear of spider. Driving phobia that is driving of fear of driving. The next point is hypochondria that is fear of becoming ill zoophobia that is fear of animals right blood injury and infection phobia that is fear of injuries involving blood tunnel phobia fear of tunnels there are so many types of phobias are there many people dislike certain situations or objects but to be a true phobia the fear must interfere with daily life here are a few more of the most common ones that is what is glossophobia glossophobia this is known as performance anxiety or the fear of speaking in front of an audience that is called glossophobia what is called acrophobia this is the fear of heights people with this phobia avoid mountains bridge or the higher flood floors of building symptoms what is claustrophobia that is the fear of enclosed or tight space severe claustrophobia can be especially disabling if it prevents you from riding in cars or elevators aviophobia this is also known as the fear of flying what is dentophobia dentophobia is a fear of dentist or dental process what is cynophobia? This is a fear of dogs. What is ophidiophobia? That is the that means the people with this phobia who fear snakes. Now types is over and I am going and I am going to discuss the causes. What is the causes? First one is particular incident or traumas for example someone who experienced a lot of turbulence on a plane at a young age might later develop a phobia about flying learned responses picked up in early life factors in the family environments such as patients such as parents who are very worried or anxious can have an effect on the way you cope with anxiety in later life you might develop the same specific phobia as a parent or older siblings genetics in research suggests that some people are more vulnerable to developing a phobia than others responses to panic or fear if you have a strong reaction in response to a particular situation or object and you find this embracing or people around you react strongly it can cause you to develop more intense anxiety about being in that situations again and another is long term stress genetic and environmental factors can cause phobias children who have a close relation relative children who have a close relative with an anxiety disorder are at risk of developing a phobia people in ongoing people with ongoing medical conditions or health concerns often having phobias there's a there's a high incidence of people having people developing phobias after traumatic brain injuries substances abuse and depression are also connected to phobias 
Phobia have different symptoms from serious mental illness such as schizophobia. What is schizophobia? People have visual and auditory hallucination, negative symptoms such as disorganized symptoms. Phobia may be irritational, but people with phobias do not fail reality testing. What is complex phobia? Complex phobias more research is needed to confirm exactly why a person develops agoraphobia or social anxiety. Researchers correctly believe it's complex phobias are caused by a combination of life experience, brain, chemistry and genetics. What is the risk factor of phobias? Risk factor is that people with a genetic predisposition to anxiety may be a may be at high risk of developing a phobia age socio-economic such status and gender seems to be risk factor only for certain phobias what is the signs and symptom sign and symptom means dry mouth shortness of breath racing heart rapid speech or inability to speak nausea elevated blood pressure shaking chest pain or tightness a choking sensation dizziness or light threadness that is what is the treatment now we will heard now we will know what is phobia the types of phobia causes and risk factor last about treatment what is the treatment of phobia treatment of phobias can involve therapeutic techniques, medications or a combination of both. Cognitive behavioral therapy that is another type of treatment that is also known as CBT. Cognitive behavioral therapy is the most commonly used therapeutic treatment for phobias. It involves exposure to the source of the fear in a cons controlled setting. This treatment can decondition people and reduce anxiety. This therapy focuses on identifying and changing negative thoughts, dysfunctional beliefs and negative reaction to the phobia situations. New CBT technique use virtual reality technology and expose people to the source of their phobias safely. What is the medication or what is the medicine needed? That is anti Anxiety medications, antidepressants can help calm emotional and physical reaction to fear. Often a combination of medications and professional therapy is the most helpful. There are a number of treatment approaches for phobias. In exposure treatment, the person is strategically exposed to their fears object in order to help them overcome this fear. One type of exposure treatment is flooding in which the patient is comforted by the fear object for the extended length of time without the opportunity to escape. The goal of this method is to help the individual fear their fear and realize that the feared object will not harm them. Finally, for people with social phobia, medications like a low dose of a benzo diazepine or potentially an antidepressant in combination with cognitive behavioral therapy can be very helpful. Phobias are highly treatable and people who have phobias are highly treatable and people who have them are nearly always aware of their disorder. This helps diagnosis a great deal. Speaking to a physiologist is a useful first step in treating a phobia that has already been identified. If the phobia does not cause severe, severe problems, most people finally the find that simply avoiding the source of their fear helps them stay in control. Many people with specific phobia will not seek treatment as these fears are often manageable. It is not possible to avoid the triggers of some phobias, as is often the case with complex phobias. In these cases, speaking to a mental health 
professional can be the first step to recovery. Mental phobias can be cured with appropriate treatment. This, there is no single treatment that works for every person with a phobia. Treatment needed to be tailored to the individual for it to work. The doctor physiologist may be recommended behavioral therapy medications behavioral therapy medications or a combination of both therapy is aimed to reduce fear and anxiety symptoms and helpful helping people manage their reaction and the object of their phobia the following medications are effective for the treatment of phobias that is beta blocker beta blocker is very helpful for phobia patient what is beta blocker this can help reduce the physical sign of anxiety that can accompany the phobia side effect may include an upset stomach fatigue insomnia and cold fingers antidepressants that is serotonin serotonin reuptake inhibitors or other ssris are commonly prescribed for people with phobias they effect serotonin level in their brain and this can cause result in better moods serotonin reuptake inhibitors ssris ris may initially causes nausea sleeping problem and headache what is tranquilizers that is benzo benzo Benzodiazepines are an example of tranquilizers that might be prescribed for the phobia patient. This may help reduce anxiety symptoms. Desensitization or exposure therapy. This can help people with a phobia alter their responses to the source of fear. They are gradually exposed to the causes of their phobia over a series of escalating steps. For example, a person with agoraphobia or a fear of flying with a plane may take the following steps under guidance. How the brain works during a phobia? How the brain works during a phobia? Some areas of the brain store and recall dangerous or potentially deadly events. If a person faces a similar event later on in life, those areas of the brain retrieves the stressful memory sometimes more than once this causes the body to experience the same reaction in a phobia the areas of the brain that deals with fear and stress keep retrieving the frightening events inappropriate what you will do and what you not to do next point what you will do and what you not to do phobias can be a source of genuine and ongoing distress for an individual however they are treatable in most cases and very often the source of fear is avoided if you have a phobia the one thing you should never be afraid of a sleeping of a seeking help if you have a phobia it is critical that you seek treatment overcoming phobias can be difficult but there's hope with the right treatment can you learn the manage your fears and lead a productive fulfilling life thank you